So today I'm going to share with you the shocking truth of how I lost a $1 million client. Yes, it's a painful story. Yes, my heart aches every time I have to tell this story, but I think there are some very important lessons in here for you. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to share with you three lessons that you can learn to prevent this from happening to you. Okay. So lean in. I'm going to quickly go through the story. Then we're going to talk about the lesson. So I think it's 2006, sometime during 2006, I walk into my office. It's very early morning. The office is still dark. I put the key in the door. I open up my office door and it's very dark in there, but I see a red flashing light on my phone, which you know what that means. That means there's a voicemail there. So I settle into my desk. I sit down, I kind of get things organized and I hit the red button and the message comes on and the message says, Hey Dennis, this is Mary from XYZ. I'm just returning your call that you made to Mike yesterday. I wanted to let you know that Mike is no longer with the company. Whew. My head starts spinning. My stomach begins to ache. I start feeling nauseous right away because Mike had never given me any indication that there was a problem or that he was leaving voluntarily or otherwise. I'm shocked to say the least. Okay. And she went on to say, I wanted to let you know that we appreciate your help over the last six months, but we're no longer going to be needing your services. Now, Understand something, this doesn't have anything to do with you personally or anything you did wrong. It just changes inside of our internal business processes. So while that made me feel a little bit better that I didn't drop the ball, I was still shocked. I was still kind of confused as to what was going on. So let me put this into context so you understand the full ramifications of this, okay? Over the previous six months, I had turned this shipper in from one load a week into 10 to 20 loads a week, okay? I had 20 x the volume that we were doing on that shipper in a very short period of time, six months. And if you added up that annual revenue, it would have far exceeded a million dollars in sales. That's part of the reason why this is such an emotional story and such an important lesson, okay? So I wanna share with you three lessons that you can learn from me in this story to help prevent this happening to you, okay? So lean in. Lesson number one, you absolutely positively have to keep your sales funnel filled even when things are going good. Even when you're knocking the cover off the ball, sales are growing, customers are happy, you're making money, everything is going well. You have to continue to keep your sales funnel filled. You have to continue to prospect. You have to continue to do the things that got you into the dance, that got you there, okay? Don't forget what got you there, okay? That's number one, very, very important. Number two, and lean in on this one. This might be the most important lesson that you can hear as it relates to this story, okay? When you get a customer, when you bring on a new customer, over the first three to six months, one of your primary goals and jobs beyond just growing that account and servicing that account at a very high level is you need to develop relationships with at least three different tiers within that organization. Now, what do I mean by that? That means you have kind of the doer level and then you have the manager level and then you have kind of the director and VP level within that organization. Your goal is to develop a relationship with at least three people in that organization. And the reason why you want to do that is because it is going to help you in situations like this where there are changes within the organization. Because the fact of the matter is, things are going to happen. People are going to turn over. There are going to be service problems. There are going to be challenges in their business. The more relationships you have within that organization, the more likely you will be to be able to retain that customer. Okay, because you have the person you're going to be dealing with on a day to day, then you're going to have other people that you're going to deal with occasionally, maybe monthly or quarterly. And then you're going to have other people that you may never have to deal with in order to facilitate all their needs. But if you have the relationship with those three tiers, if they know and like and trust you, you can make a call. And in many cases, that's going to allow you to retain that client. Unfortunately, I did not have three contacts. I had one primary contact in the story that I just told with you, and his name was Mike. When he turned over, I lost the entire account. 
Okay. So number three, when you don't feel like prospecting, because there are days you are going to walk into the office and there are going to be days when you don't feel like prospecting because maybe you're under the weather. Or maybe you had an argument with your wife, or maybe you've heard a lot of no's and gotten a lot of rejection. There are going to be days when you don't want to prospect. Here's what I want you to remember. I want you to remember my story. And I want you to remember that you're only one voicemail away from losing your biggest customer. So I want you to close your eyes for five seconds and I want you to visualize walking into your office and that voicemail light is blinking and you click on the voicemail and it says, hey Dennis, sorry to tell you it's over. So imagine how your stomach is going to feel. If you don't have anxiety right now about losing your biggest customer, if you can't visualize that and use that as fuel to push you into prospecting mode to continue to keep your funnel filled, I don't know what will. Okay. So that's my story. Those are the three lessons. And listen, if you're looking for some help in freight broker sales, you're looking for some help with getting shippers and retaining shippers and developing shippers, okay? Check out my freight broker sales accelerator. It's a five week coaching program where I take that piece of my brain, I transplant it into your head, and I teach you all my best freight broker sales strategies, tactics, tools, and my entire system. So you can get on the wait list at freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash wait list, okay? That's where you can get on the list freightbrokerbootcamp.com forward slash waitlist. Now, if you're just getting started and you're looking to become a broker or agent and you're in the early stages of startup and you need some help, you can check out freightbrokerbootcamp.com. That is my startup program. Um, that's an online course you can access 24-7, 365 with full support. We've trained over 10,000 students through that program and we offer a 60-day, 100% unconditional money back guarantee. So make sure you check out Freight Broker Sales Accelerator. Make sure you check out the bootcamp. Appreciate you being here. Hit the like button. Ask me a question in the comments. Have an awesome day. Appreciate you being here.